Hey guys, so uh, here today we're gonna rush them hard and rush them fast. Rushing is a really good tactic. It catches most people off guard and can help you snag an easy round win. However, it can also fail in a spectacular fashion. Oh my god, the frost crab. So naturally, I thought, let's get rid of the spectacular fails and make sure your rushes are successful. I'm basically just going to do like a walkthrough of what you should be thinking before and during your rush. I'll also include some tips to make sure your rush is the best rush it can be. So rushing really depends on which operator you choose. If we're being hypothetical here, you can rush with any operator. But if we're being realistic, there's only a handful that will be successful consistently. The obvious ones are the 3-speed operators, so Ash, IQ, Cappy, and Hibana. Each operator definitely brings their own strengths, but Ash is 100% your top pick. Her gadget and her guns just make her a strong rusher. Whereas Capital's gadget is good to make it to the room and cut off flanking routes, and IQ's is kinda whatever. Hibana is probably your second strongest rusher just because she's a 3 speed operator and can take down reinforced walls. A good tip for using hit banana is to use her Really nigga? Anyways, a good way to use Bananarama is to use her pellets on the bottom of a reinforced wall. Shout out to Narcoleptic Nugget for this tip, I still hate you, but you basically just blow out the bottom, you run at the wall and crouch. You pop out the other side pretty quickly and with the element of surprise. Aside from the obvious 3 speed operators, the only other operators I would consistently rush with would be Buck and Sledge. Now Buck and Sledge are pretty similar so it's really up to you on who you want to use, but they both excel at getting through doors and walls extremely quickly. Again, shout out Nugget, you're the worst. But thank you for telling me this tip. Just make sure you're crouching when you sledge a wall so you can just slide on right through instead of having to vault over it. And Buck is kind of the same idea. Bro, buck that shit, man. Buck the wall, yeah, man. Camera, what are you good. doing? Yeah. Buck it. The guy's in there. Yeah. 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 yeah Alright, so now that you've chosen your operator, it's time to decide whether you're actually going to rush or you're not going to rush. This part is all about prep phase. It depends on what you see with your drone, where the objective is, and what the map is. All of these things are going to come with experience. However, we can talk about a few scenarios. Scenario 1 is if you see a lot of roamers. Even if there are only two roamers, their room defenses are already pretty weak. If you have a straight line to the objective, you should definitely take it. If they have three roamers, you should definitely rush. Again, it also depends on the map and the objective, but usually if there's only two people in the room, it's a safe bet to rush. Scenario 2 is if you have not rushed yet. If you've already rushed, the other team might be ready for it, but chances are if your team has been playing pretty slow and you haven't rushed yet, they're not going to see it coming. And the last scenario is in overtime. People usually don't expect a rush in overtime because it's kind of reckless, but it's a cheeky way to get a free round and put you ahead in the match. Alright, so now we've decided we actually want to rush. The first thing you're going to do is put a drone on your chosen entry point. You want to run from spawn to your entry point, check your drone for any extra information, and then breach into the building. At this point, you should have either told your team that you were rushing, or they should have figured it out. In any case, it's a good idea to phone a friend here and make sure someone's got your back. If you have a teammate following the route that you're going, you'll have someone that can kill flankers and protect your back. The caveat with rushing is that you're not really going to have too much time to shoot like gadgets or cameras. Cameras guys, cameras. Take cameras. Take camera, <laughs> shoot it. the dead for sure dude. So don't worry too much about shooting cameras or like Valcam. Just call them out for your teammate and they can deal with it. Once you've rushed to the objective, it really depends on the objective on what you're going to do next. So if it's secure area, you're obviously going to secure the room and force defenders back to the room. If it's hostage, you're usually okay to pick up the hostage right away. And with bomb, the rusher should never have the diffuser. If it's bomb, make sure that like a teammate following you has the diffuser because your job is to secure one bomb site so your teammate can run in and plant. That is basically it to get you started into rushing in Siege. The biggest obstacle to rushing is map knowledge, and again, that comes with experience. Hopefully this helps you out, and let me know if it's useful. And enjoy the smooth sounds of whatever the fuck this guy's singing. You crazy mother- Talk to me, baby. Tell me I'm yours. That is what's in your heart. It's now in the floor. I just need you to pick it, connect. It's in my mind, I'm waiting no longer. Running out of time.